Welcome back to Simply Flute. Now, the last time I took you around my area of West London where I live, and you might have noticed that in so many of the shots I was rubbing my hands together like this. And before you start to think that I might be auditioning for the part of Fagin in the musical Oliver, rest assured it was just an incredibly cold day that day. So I was desperately trying to get some heat into my hands. So today we're going to take you into the centre of London to see some of the key tourist attractions. We'll be looking at the Houses of Parliament with Big Ben, Buckingham Palace where the Queen lives, Green Park for a different reason, and hopefully over the bridge to Lambeth and to the Royal Festival Hall. Let's go. And here we are at London's probably greatest landmark, Big Ben, known throughout the world. And in fact, I have a photograph of me, aged 12, I think, standing in the clock face of Big Ben. And that was a real treat at that age because very few people are actually allowed up there. I have to tell you though, it's an awfully long way to go. There are numerous steps to get up there. But next door to that are the Houses of Parliament. And this is where our government meets. And basically what happens is that across the chamber, they shriek and shout at one another and jeer and wave. And they get paid £74,000 a year for that. If there's a job vacancy going, I think I might just apply. Now this spot here is an incredibly special spot. We've got the Houses of Parliament behind me here and the chambers where they all have their discussions. But this green is famous around the world because with an election coming up, news crews will be appearing to interview politicians about how the campaign is going. And all of the interviews will take place on this green. So over the next few weeks, just keep your eyes open to see this shot from London. One of the more famous stories attached to the Houses of Parliament is the attempt in 1606 of Guy Fawkes to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Now he was caught and subsequently he and his co-conspirators were executed. But we do often wonder that if he'd succeeded, would the world be a better place? 